S O S talking about the day that mystery Babylon actually enters into her revelation 18 phase. There is so much conjecture and so much argument in the Christian world, especially here in the United States about the identity of mystery Babylon. Who is this mysterious city? So it is called, who is this kingdom that is referenced as being totally obliterated, annihilated and destroyed in revelation 18, who has angered God so much that he will release such a cacophony of punishments. What nation or what kingdom, as it says, city, who's going to receive that? Here on the Master's Voice Prophecy blog, the Lord has made it very clear that Mystery Babylon is the United States of America. Mystery Babylon is not Iraq. It is not Iran. It is not any of those nations out there in the ancient basin of the Persians. It is not Rome, the Catholic Church, the Vatican, or even whatever else people may think. Mystery Babylon is America. Mystery Babylon is the once golden cup that was held in Jesus's hand. But now, as I said in a prophecy from long back, probably a few years ago, so the cup has become corrupted and its contents have been befouled. And in this prophecy, God is saying how it will go down for America. And I have to tell you, it is exactly how America has made it go down for other nations when they have been in need. SOS, America will give a distress call in the day of her final attack. She will give an SOS a public appeal to the nations of the world to intervene and stop Russia when the bear attacks her. Yet there will be no hand of help and no ally. I despise your allies, says the Lord. No one will come. No one will respond. No one will intervene. America will be left to herself on that day and her judgments will fall in one hour. And yet it has been prophesied here back to back to back that God says that he will scatter all the peoples of the earth, the entire melting pot of humanity that lives here in the United States. And he said, if you thought you came to settle here, you thought you had found a forever home, he called it. You thought that you would grow old, old here. I, the Lord, am going to put an end to all that and I will discourage you from staying here and I will scatter you back to your nations. Now in the very old prophecies, if you have been here for a while, you will remember that the Lord says that when America is nuked and bombed by the Russians and the Chinese, that this country will go through so much shock and awe in a single day. The kind of attack that will come upon her upon the East coast and the West coast at the same time, America will be hit on both sides, a simultaneous attack, a surprise attack. One thing the Lord said is that America will be struck a surprise blow, that Russia will give America a sucker punch. So a sucker punch is when someone hits you and you're not expecting it. You are not expecting to be hit by anyone, a blow when you are not expecting it. And that is what Russia is going to do. Russia is going to come here from what I have seen in these prophecies and shared in the colder months of a year that I do not have. I don't give dates here. I simply bring forth the word of the Lord as I've seen in my dreams, as I've seen in my visions. And I saw that Russia will choose a time that favors her. For the Lord says that the, the cold favors the bear. Russia is a country of extreme and intense winters. America has winters and we have areas of extreme winter, intense winter. But the problem here is that people don't revel in the snow. Nobody likes it. Everyone is bundled up inside. The thermostat is on. The house is heated. People are drinking warm drinks. God says, America, in the cold, you bundle up. But in the cold, Russia thrives. And so let that be borne in mind. So mystery Babylon here, you can hear in verse 10 in one hour, a judgment will come. And here is the prophetic word from the Lord that America will be left to herself on that fateful day and her judgments will fall in one hour. So I hope that you can see that there is more than enough comparison between what the father is saying now in 2023 and what was said thousands of years ago. America is going to give a distress call in the day of her final attack. That final attack will be the day that we will wake up 
to the sound of Russia in the air, the sound of Russia and China coming out of the sea, as I described, the best of the best of the best is who God said that those sea people, air people will be. But for sure, the people coming out of the chilly waters of the sea will be the best of the best of the best. And they were just coming out in wetsuits out of freezing water and women were among them. And the Lord said that no man hearing that women will be coming out of the sea could, should think, oh, well, okay, then they're going to be a little bit compromised because they've got females. That's not the case at all. These women are merciless and they will slaughter and kill on sight because he insisted that they are the best of the best of the best. So these are not, these are not soldiers trained with a soft heart. If you read the prophecies that I have brought here concerning passages from Jeremiah, this army is described as an army that marches in formation. It says that not a single one of them is out of formation. And it says also that they cannot be bribed and that they will not spare their, I will not spare. This means that they will not have mercy even on babies. They will not have mercy even on the unborn. And that is, that is how the Lord introduced Russia in America to me.